करिए बड़ा एहसान गए या खुदा हम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए जिंदगी में वे अता हम को किया रमदान गए अलहमदुल्लाम أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدل الجود والكرم وآله الكرام وابنه الكريم بارك وسلم عليك الصلاة والسلام My beloved Nabi Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم beloved followers الحمد لله We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he is our Lord, sustainer, protector, giver. He is most affectionate, gracious, merciful. We send peace, salutations, blessings upon our Nabi, last of the messengers, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. We send blessings upon our Nabi's entire household, his Ali Bayt al We send blessings upon his all the companions, his Sahaba Kiram. And we send blessings upon every single one who have died in the state of Iman. On this blessed day of Jumu'ah, we make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us goodness in this dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease, jannah, maghfirah in hereafter. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. Day by day we are getting closer to the beautiful month of Ramadan. And inshallah very soon we are entering in the most blessed month of the year, the month of Ramadan al Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Ramadan is coming and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us one more time the opportunity to get closer to Him to obtain and gain blessings from him and to become righteous and muttaqi person insha'Allah. Today insha'Allah Rahman, I will say Ramazan is the most beautiful occasion which brings us happiness. It brings us joy. It brings us every reason to be happy, excited and work on ourselves insha'Allah. Insan, this is his nature that he do be, he becomes happy when he gets something, some favor, some ni'mah. Sometimes he gets happy with actually bad reason too. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like it. Quran says, anybody who becomes happy out of ma'asiyat, disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's say somebody did party last night and next day he said, I'm so happy. Last night it went well. We did this, we consumed alcohol, we, you know, uh, we hung around with, you know, this and that. Allah says, لَا تَفْرَحْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْفَرِحِينَ Do not be very happy about those reasons. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love those who becomes happy out of ma'asiyah, due to ma'asiyah, this obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not love that. Sometime in sun, human being, Believer, he becomes happy and when he becomes happy, he does actions which actually count as an arrogance, attitude. He insults others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like that too either. In <laughs> That kind of happiness 
is the happiness of arrogance, attitude Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like. But always keep in mind some type of happiness it is the most beautiful happiness. When you get favor, ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-farhu bi ta'atillah. When you do become happy because of the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says in Quran, Qul bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bi dhalika fal yafrahu. O Nabi, you tell them, whenever you do get the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ni'mah, favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fal yafrahu that you must enjoy, you should be happy. You have all the reasons to be happy. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Ramadan is one of the most beautiful occasions to be happy, to be excited. وَالَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُ الْكِتَابِ يَفْرَحُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ Those who have books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they should be pleased and happy with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted them. And what is that? The book, the words, the wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Since we are entering in the month of Ramadan. We should be happy because we are getting closer to Ramadan and we are going to welcome the most beautiful month. <laughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He always used to consider Ramadan as the ni'mah, the guest from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> and when do we have guests, what do we do? When we have guests, anybody? And whenever we, do, we are expecting any guest, we start preparing. And last week I've already spoke about this. Today inshallah I'll talk how Ramadan makes us happy. مَرَّ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَىٰ قَبْرِ Sahaba Kiram Ridwanullahi Ta'ala Ali bin Ma'in says, this is in At-Tabrani 920. Rasulullah was passing by a qabr, a grave. فقال, then he asked, who is this person in this qabr? مَنْ وَصَاحِبُ هَذَا الْقَبْرِ قَالُوا فُلَانًا They replied, someone. فَقَالْ Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, and that is one of the most beautiful things. Most beautiful. رَكَعَتَانِ أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ هَذَا مِنْ بَقِيَّةِ دُنْيَاكُمْ فَالْمَوْتَى يَتَمَنَّوْنَ الرُّجُوعِ لِيُسَبِّحُوا تَسْبِيحَةً أَوْ يُصَلُّوا رَكَعَتَيْنِ أَوْ يَسُومُوا يَوْمًا مِنْ رَمَضَانِ Rasulullah says, we do not actually take things serious when we are in this dunya. Sometimes two rak'at, only two units of rak'at, can be more valuable than any other thing in his entire dunya. Only two rak'at. And then he says, you know, when people, they will leave this dunya, when we will no more be in this dunya, people will be thinking, they will be wanting to come back to, into this dunya for what? They want to come into dunya and you sabbihu tasbih hasan to sit so they can do just a little bit of tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or you sallu raka'ataini. Or they could pray only two raka'at. Or yasumu yawman min Ramadan. Or they could fast only a day in the month of Ramadan. That means having a Ramadan is one of the most beautiful blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having a health during the month of Ramadan to fast that is another beautiful favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we are getting a lot of Ramadan in our life, and inshallah we are getting this Ramadan, inshallah, may Allah give us long life with plenty of Ramadan, barakah, mercy, blessings, inshallah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Consider it as the ni'mah and favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be happy for this beautiful, beautiful ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand. Amen. Ramadan is the occasion, the beautiful occasion to get taqwa, to get tawbah, to get istighfar, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to understand the importance of sabr, to become happy because we are becoming more God-fearing, we are becoming more muttaqi insha'Allah rahman. <coughs> Do not think the Ramadan is just a temporary uh, month where we actually can pause plenty of sins we are doing right now. We will pause in the middle. We will have entire Ramadan 
and the day when Ramadan will go, what we are going to do? We'll resume all the sins, all the shortcomings, every single thing, whatever kind of addiction we had, we'll resume everything that. Do not, please don't do that. We must stop every single type of addiction we have right now. Ramadan is an opportunity to make us good person. Inshallah, we can be more happier inshallah. How? Let's say some, um, some of us have an addiction of, uh, you know, smoking. And when we have such, such thing, what we can do? We can control our nafs. We can start from now on. And Alhamdulillah, I do see people, they fast during the month of Ramadan. And entire in the day, they say, we do not want it. Alhamdulillah. It does not come in our mind. To, we do not even think about it. If that happens, that means we can stop even after the month of Ramadan. All we need is just a will. Azm al Some kind of attention, inshaAllah. Plenty of the brothers, they have addiction of you. And I believe everyone. I'm seeing youngsters, alhamdulillah. And, but this is for everyone using cell phone. Being on social media, addiction. The biggest addiction, I would say. Dangerous than any other thing. Because while sitting on your couch, being with people, still we can commit major sins when you have cell phone in your hand. You know, watching inappropriate thing, seeing inappropriate thing. We, we are still learning major sin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. Ramadan is the occasion which makes us happy. How? By, by not committing major sins. Staying away from all kind of addictions. Staying away from any kind of bad habit. Staying away from any kind of bad assumption, bad thinking, you know, bad sahba. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand this. So inshallah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Be happy Ramadan is coming. Be pleased Ramadan is coming. Be excited Ramadan is coming. And try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try to build relationship, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we become pious person in this dunya. And we get the, we make our dunya better. And we earn our akhirat inshaAllah Rahman. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have few announcements. The first one, inshaAllah, inshaAllah Ramadan is coming. And our masjid ICOB is actually uh, absolutely ready to welcome entire community. Please do join us during the month of Ramadan, Taraweeh, entire Quran will be recited. And uh, inshallah with 20 rakat. So do jo uh, join us. Inshallah Rahman will do tafsir also. Plenty other programs, bayanat, lectures, you do some short, some bigger. Inshallah we are going to have zikr also. So it's beautiful opportunity to join us inshallah and obtain and gain blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. During the month of Ramadan, we do sponsor some iftari also, and we ask community to sponsor. So inshallah, the, every weekend, Friday and Saturday, we are having iftar, and it's $2,000 per day. Anybody who wants to sponsor the whole day, or the portion of it, he can actually write his name on the, uh, the paper, or he can just let me know inshallah. And if you cannot do the whole thing, you can uh, make two friends together, and inshallah Rahman do sponsor. Even if you want to have little share, we have two orange boxes on both sides. It says iftar donation. Give your uh, actual Rasul Mal, inshallah Rahman, to sponsor an iftar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you well. The second thing, you all know we have been doing Qiyamul Layl from last two months in Rajab and Shaban. Almost 20 students, they participated and they completed entire Quran. Pura. Mukammal, alhamdulillah. And you know, some of them, they are six years old. Seven years old, eight years old, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. It went really well. Tomorrow, we want to appreciate them, motivate them. That Alhamdulillah, you have done a great job. I would request all of you to come join us with your family and friends tomorrow after Maghrib, right over here, seven o'clock, inshallah. So we are having a program certification ceremony and we are having Ramadan preparation with Imam Jawad. I want all of you to come with your family and friends and motivate our youngsters, our youth, our kids, those who read and recited Quran while leading Qiyamul Layl. I want entire community to be here. One last request, not the announcement, that is that ICUB is in need of volunteers, those who want to help us during the month of Ramadan. And, uh, you know, 
this is the you know big masjid alhamdulillah and we have plenty of areas where actually we do need help even before ramadan cleaning outside inside if anybody who wants to participate please do let us know inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you all assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please pray your sunnahs